Today's video is sponsored by Cloudways. This is one of my actual clients' websites. It's earning them over six figures per year, running plugins like LearnDash and WooCommerce. Except this isn't actually their website. I've secretly cloned it over to an affordable shared hosting plan to show you how it performs. And let's just say it's pretty awful. Even doing things like loading up the podcast page takes forever. Now compare the exact same click when the site is hosted on Cloudways. It's instantaneous. What site would you wanna use? You can imagine if you just spent a lot of money on an online course and each time you wanted to load a new lesson, you had to wait five to 10 seconds, you'd probably get frustrated pretty quickly. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to move off of your cheap shared hosting plan and over to Cloudways. I'll focus on making it as simple as possible while also keeping your data secure and making sure everything makes the journey over with a minimal interruption for your existing customers. Let's get started. If you don't know much about Cloudways, I will give you the TLDR. It's a managed cloud hosting platform. And what that means is you're gonna be able to run your website using the same infrastructure as the big boys, except you don't need to get a degree to be able to navigate something like Amazon AWS or Google's cloud platform. You'll get access to things like Cloudflare Enterprise, which normally costs people hundreds of dollars per month. And you can do it on Cloudways for just a few bucks. I also love their transparent pricing. You don't have to sign up for any long-term contracts like shared hosting providers, and you can cancel at any any point, you can use a server for even just a few hours if that's what you want to do. I've made a lot of other videos about Cloudways, so if you want to know more, check out the links in the description. Back over to Cloudways, let's get started with our migration. I've already got an account, so I'm going to go ahead and log in. The first thing we're going to do is spin up our destination server. It takes a little time to get going, so we'll get started here and then head back over to our source site and get that prepped for the migration. So I'm gonna click on the big old green launch now button inside of Cloudways. I'll choose my application. I'm just gonna go with WordPress right here. We'll give the app a name and the server a name. Then I'm gonna go with a DigitalOcean two gigabyte server, and I'm gonna locate it inside of New York. This is gonna cost me 26 bucks per month. I could choose any of these other cloud providers if I want to, Vulture, Linode, AWS, or Google Cloud Platform. Each provider is gonna have different pros and cons and different pricing structures. So go ahead and check them out and see if anything looks interesting to you. I will note that DigitalOcean acquired Cloudways last year, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have great compatibility between the two platforms. All right, so I hit the Launch Now button and you can see it says Adding Server. Basically what's going on here is Cloudways is getting the resources ready for me. So so I can have a WordPress website. Back over on the source website, there are a few things I need to be doing to get ready for the migration. First of all, I wanna make sure that no transactions come in during the migration because that data could get lost. So I'm going to install a coming soon plugin to make sure that there's no further traffic. So here we are under plugins, add new. I've searched for maintenance mode. I'm gonna go ahead and install one of these plugins. There's lots of great choices to choose from. Popular ones are like seed prod. I'm actually gonna go with this one from a smaller developer called WP Brigade. It's called under construction and coming soon. This is installed, I'll click activate. With the plugin activated, I've got a new menu item on the left-hand sidebar called under construction. We're gonna go under settings and click activate. That is gonna put my site offline essentially. Anyone who visits the website will see a coming soon message. So I'm gonna go ahead and disable this for administrators so I can go ahead and continue to use the website and hit save changes. All right, with that activated, I see a nice big purple under construction mode icon up here in the menu bar. And what that means is anyone who visits the website is going to get an under construction message. So here's what it looks like. Of course, you could be as elaborate with this as you'd like. You could do something completely custom designed, give people more information about when you're coming back. In this case, I just want a simple solution to let people know that things are coming back soon. With the site in maintenance mode, there's only one more thing to do before I begin the migration, and that is to take a clean backup. This is merely a safety precaution. I'm not gonna be restoring this at the destination server, but I wanna make sure I have a very clean copy of my data just in case anything goes wrong. So back over to plugins, add new. I'm gonna search for WP Vivid. This is one of my favorite backup plugins. I'm gonna go ahead and install the free version here. That's all you'll need. In fact, I've already got it installed and activated on this website. Next, we'll find it over here on the sidebar. Go over to WP Vivid, backup and restore. So we're gonna do a manual backup here. Wanna make sure that we have database and files selected. And then you can choose between a local backup as in on your existing web server or backup to remote storage. 
For the sake of this video, I'm just gonna back things up locally and then download them to my actual computer. So let's go ahead and hit backup now. And then we wait for the backup to complete. Now, technically this backup is adding to my downtime. I could skip this step, but I don't recommend it because this is the only real way to know that you have all of the transactions and all of the interactions that your users have made with your site backed up before the migration begins. All right, my backup is complete. What I can do here is just click on this download button. It's gonna go ahead and download the entire website to my local machine. And this way, if something goes wrong, I lose data for whatever reason, it is a computer, things can go wrong. I can simply start up a brand new WordPress website on whatever hosting platform I like, go ahead and install the WP Vivid plugin, and then go to the same screen here, and I would just click upload to upload my backup. You can see here, I've got four different parts. I'm gonna click download on each one of them and wait for the download to complete. While I'm waiting for the download to complete, let's check out this upload tab here. This is where you'd go in case of complete emergency. So there's some data loss for whatever reason, you'd start up a brand new WordPress installation, install WP Vivid, and then go ahead and drag and drop each one of those zip files right here. Everything will be restored. You'll have all of your content, all of your settings, and all of your plugins good as new. You probably won't need this. I'm not trying to scare you, but it's always good to have a backup plan. All right, with our site in maintenance mode and a fresh backup in our back pocket, let's go ahead and start the migration. I'm gonna head over to plugins, add new, and I'm gonna search for Cloudways. This is what we want right here, the Cloudways WordPress migrator. Install now and activate. After activating the plugin, you're taken to this page right here. And you might notice the subheadline that says, don't have the time, let us migrate your site for free. That's right, Cloudways will do all of this for you. You don't have to lift a finger. If you've just got one site to do, that's great. They do charge you if you have multiple sites and if you're an agency, you just might like to have the control to make sure everything is done up to your exact requirements. But I've had good experiences with the Cloudways migration in the past, so definitely check that out if you're a little bit nervous seeing all the steps that I'm going through here. Now back to our DIY migration. Make sure you go ahead and put an actual email address that you can check in the field right here. This isn't going to sign you up for any marketing list that I'm aware of, but what it is going to do is notify you as the migration progresses. So you'll get some automated messages saying, hey, things have started, and then another message at the end when things are complete. All right, I'm gonna agree to the terms and conditions here and click the migrate button. So now we are on the migrate your site to Cloudways form. And there's a lot of fields here that we need to fill in, but don't worry, we're gonna do it together. I'm gonna make it very easy for you. The very first one is the destination site URL. Now, if you're like me, you likely have a custom URL that you want to use. You probably purchased it someplace like Namecheap or Hover, and you wanna make sure that you hang on to that when you move over to Cloudways. Don't worry, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. But for the migration process, we're gonna stick with kind of the default URL that Cloudways gives us when we spin up our server. After everything is functioning properly, we're able to migrate the site, test everything out. Then I will show you how to change the URL to your custom domain name, and we'll actually make the, the DNS changes as well. So for now, I'm gonna go over to Cloudways and under applications, I'm gonna make sure I'm on my actual site here. And what I want is this application URL right here. I'll click this little button to open it up in a new window, and then I'm gonna copy and paste the URL field from the top. We'll put that in right here in the destination site URL. Next, we're gonna need something called the SFTP host or slash server address. So that's gonna be easy to find over inside of my Cloudways account. It's this public IP right here. I can simply click on these numbers that copies it to my clipboard, and then I'll go ahead and paste this back into the form. Now back over to Cloudways, we're gonna grab our database name. Again, just copying and pasting. The next two fields that we see are the SFTP username and password. Now, I don't have those set up inside of Cloudways by default, so I'm going to go ahead and just type in whatever I'd like for the username and password now, and then click Add. All right, there we go, I'm gonna hit Add, and you can see it says Creating New Application Credentials. Back over on the form, I'm gonna fill out the exact same information that I just added inside of Cloudways. All right, that's essentially it. There are a few other questions here, but the default answers are gonna be good for 99.9% .9 of websites, and the people who would need to change these already know that they need to change them.
So what we're gonna do is go ahead and hit migrate. It's gonna validate the details with Cloudways and we can sit back and wait for our site to transfer over to a new faster way of life. All right, here we go. We can see that everything is working. It says you can monitor the progress or close the window. Basically, they're gonna email us to let us know when this is done. I'll leave it up so we can get a nice little time lapse. All right, so our migration is complete. It took just over 25 minutes to go from the old site to the new site. I'd say that's fairly reasonable. Most clients are gonna be okay with 25 minutes of downtime, especially if you can schedule it during their non-peak hours. So Cloudways here tells us that we need to connect our domain next turn on SSL and then configure our settings. Those are all good ideas. We'll get more into what configure settings means in a moment, but first let's go ahead and check out our website. So I'm gonna click right up here. It's gonna open me up to my homepage. Everything is looking good. Now, don't just trust that one page is load so everything is gonna look good. Definitely go through your entire website, even make a test purchase if you can, just to ensure that there's no surprises once you flip the switch and load up that new server and start sending live traffic to it. So definitely give it a thorough look over. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and continue with the rest of the migration process. So once you're sure that your website is working as you'd expect, you're going to head over to Cloudways, then go over to domain management right here in the sidebar. And we're going to go ahead and add in our domain. For me, that's ecom.profitabletools.com. And I'll hit add domain. And I can see that right now it's set as an alias. What I want this to be is the primary domain. So I'm gonna go ahead and click right here and choose make primary. I'll confirm by choosing set as primary. And it's gonna take just a moment for it to go through and switch out everything in the site to have the new domain name. All right, we've got our new primary domain set up over inside of Cloudways. However, traffic is still not going to our Cloudways server. And I can confirm this by opening up a new window here and going and visiting the proper domain name. And it still says under construction. That's because this is hitting our old server. We need to go ahead and update our DNS so that everything goes over to the Cloudways server. So in your Cloudways panel, you wanna go ahead and find your public IP address. We did this earlier when we were performing the migration. So I'm gonna click right on the numbers to copy it to my clipboard. Then you're gonna go over to your DNS provider, which could be something like GoDaddy, Namecheap, Hover, or in my case, I'm using Cloudflare. I'm gonna go ahead and add a new A record. In fact, I've already got one here that I can modify, but if you don't have one, just create a new one. And in this case, it's going to be an A record. I'm using a subdomain. You might be using a root domain, which would mean you'll use the at symbol here. And then I'm gonna paste in the new IP address. So that's all I need to do. I'm gonna hit save. And now traffic will move from our old server over to our new server on Cloudways. With our new incognito window open, I'm gonna go ahead and visit our website and I get the message that our connection is not private. This looks terrible. It looks like there's a disaster going on, but this is actually a good sign. That means that the DNS has already been updated and we simply need to install an SSL certificate. So back over in Cloudways on the left-hand sidebar, I'll go to SSL certificate. We're gonna enter in our email address and our domain name, then just hit install certificate. All right, this will only take a few moments. The certificate will get installed and then our visitors will have a nice fast server to experience their online courses. Okay, great. You can see here that our certificate has been installed successfully. If I go back over to my alarming window, I'm just gonna hit reload. And there we go. Our site is up and running. I can click on the podcast page here. It loads instantly, a huge improvement over the shared provider. And over on the back end, it's a lot more enjoyable experience to manage this website. Everything loads a heck of a lot faster. It's gonna save me a ton of time as I go through and update content. Now there's some other integrations that we can choose to turn on that will speed things up even further. One I'd like to point out now is Cloudflare. They have a Cloudflare enterprise that you can turn on for just five bucks a month for a single site. As you get more sites over on Cloudways, that gets cheaper. This is actually a huge deal because Cloudflare Enterprise costs hundreds of dollars per site per month. So I don't know how they're affording to offer this to people, but I'm really glad that they do. I do have another Cloudways video where I go through the full setup of Cloudflare Enterprise inside of Cloudways. So I will link to that down below in the description. You can go ahead and check that out so you can get set up with your Cloudways website as well.
I do recommend using Cloudways server level backups, even if you have an additional WordPress plugin, it's always good to have more than one copy of your data. To get this set up, it's super easy. Just click on servers, click on the server you're working on, go down to backups and then choose your schedule. So by default, it's gonna back up at 6 a.m. and it'll do it once per day with a one week retention. You can change this to be even more frequent if you're doing a lot of e-commerce data, that might be important to you. You can do it every hour or every three hours. One other consideration when moving off of your shared hosting provider is email. I know a lot of people still have legacy email accounts on their shared hosting provider, and it's one reason that they just stay with bad hosting, and I don't think that should be the case. Cloudways does offer a nice integration with Rackspace. It's only a dollar per user. Let me show you how to set this up. I'm gonna click on the little grid up here and choose add-ons. And then we can go down to Rackspace email. I'll click the little pen pencil icon, and then I can simply start adding in my users. It's only $1 per month, like I mentioned. I think that's a really reasonable value. And Rackspace is a good high quality company, someone that you can trust to manage your email. However, you certainly don't need to use them. You could use Outlook, you could use Google Workspace, whatever you would like for your business. All right, our site is happy and it's new home on its brand new server. If you found this video to be helpful, make sure you leave me a comment down below and let me know. If you're new around here, click that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.